Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do your Friday topical reading. So this week we're just going to look at your person and what they're leaving behind. Okay. What they're learning. Right, so this is the Dark Mirror deck, Dark Mirror Oracle, and this is the Soul's Journey. So leaving behind, learning, and loving. Okay. All right, so let's see. Now, because it's a general reading, this certainly could apply to you personally as well, okay? But I'm doing this reading as though this is your person, all right? But you might end up find, finding out that this is more something that you're feeling personally. So what is this person leaving behind? Atonement, wow. I gotta tell you, the air sign readings have been very similar. So, you know, it's like this person is basically saying, you know, if you know, if you aren't gonna forgive them, they're gonna go. You know, and I feel like, You know, they know that they did something that wasn't cool. They know that they did something that wasn't necessarily right. They made a mistake. And I feel like they have tried to ask for forgiveness. And it's like, you might not want to hear it. Ace of Swords, the truth. You know, it's like all this person can do at this point is tell the truth. What is the truth? Let's see. We have the devil. Card of Capricorn. But it's like the truth is this person did something that, you know, might have had a toxic quality to it. They might have given in to some type of temptation Either the truth came out or they have told the truth and asked for forgiveness. And if that's not what you want to do, that's perfectly okay. This could be you in the same situation. All right. You might be looking for forgiveness. Maybe the grass wasn't greener. One more card here. Eight of Wands. Communication. You know, this person might have, it could have been as simple as this person might have said something that was really, really nasty to you. Like really uncalled for. Really just out of left field. They regretted it. They know they might have betrayed you by saying it or doing whatever they did. I feel like they've apologized for it. And if they... If you're not going to accept their apology, if you're not ready to, or you don't want to forgive them, they're basically saying, okay, then I'm, I'm going, you know, and they have to, they have to accept it. What's the lesson here for this person? Growth. The lesson is about growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So, you know, this person could have, you know, part of their path might have been to do exactly what they did to you. 
and it was in an effort to awaken them or raise their consciousness. You know, and they might be headed down a path towards someone doing exactly what they did to you. And that's how they're growing. But they needed to do this first in order to, you know, visit the lesson that's coming their way. The only way that you gain awareness around things, especially things that aren't good, is by experiencing them in, you know, either yourself or by through others. So we have King of Pentacles. So this, you know, you could be dealing, you know, this could be an earth sign. I feel like this person is very much, you know, they might be trying to win you back with gifts or they might be trying to win you back um, by being especially happy around you or being especially generous around you. You know, and I, they might be trying to show you growth on their part. They might be trying to show you that you know, this situation has raised their awareness. Seven of Wands. Unfortunately for this person, I feel like you're going to tell them no. Seven of Wands is someone that is able to say no or defend themselves or hold their ground. And I feel like that's what's coming this, you know, to this person, at least right now. And that's part of the growth that they have to go through. The one caveat that I would say is that if you truly want this person back in your life, if you say no now, just make sure you mean it. Whoops. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So with this person potentially walking away from this, you know, allowing themselves to at least forgive themselves for what happened. You know, it could allow them to possibly reignite passion within themselves. Again, this could be you. It could open up the door for new passion with you, but I don't see it because this Seven of Wands and then Five of Swords. I feel like what they reminisce about when it comes to you, what they're in conflict about is that they know that there was a lot of passion here between the two of you. You know, they know that some type of temptation just really got the better of them. And I feel like they're going to go overboard trying to get you back. And, you know, you're just like, uh, no, I don't think so. A lot of the readings this week are about, you know, really being able to release and walk away. Some people fight it. Some people realize that, you know, it's just ready to, to be done. I feel like you can have this person back if you want them, but just make sure that you really want them because it could start a cycle all over again that you don't want to repeat, right? All right, that is what I have for you, Gemini. Um... If you are looking for a more personal reading, just reach out. I will respond quickly. Otherwise, um, I will talk to you next week. And I want you to have a very happy weekend, healthy, safe. Do something nice for yourself. And uh, much love. All right? All right. Bye.